Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be solving the 2021 past question. Now, if this is your first time of hitting this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you can get more video updates from us. Now, question 8 says which one of the following statements is correct? Now, it's comparing the number 0 0.72 and 8 over 11. So the best thing for you to do here is to do a long division. Now, do your 8 over 11. Now, this is how I'm going to do my own. Now, 11 into 8, it cannot go. You put 0 and you put your point and you add your 0. Now, 11 into 80, it's going to give you what? You will get 7. 11 times 7 will give you 77. You bring down 3. 11 cannot go into um, 3. You add um, your 0. 11 into 30 will give you 2. 11 times 2 will give you 22. And you're going to get 8. Now, it takes you back to it again. Do 11 into 8. Cannot go. You put your 0. 11 into 80. You put your 7. 11 times 7. It's going to give you 77. And if you continue, it's going to continue in the numbers of 0 0.727272 and so on. So this is 8 over 11. Now, look at this number and compare it to 0 0.72. You will notice that 8 over 11 is greater than what? Uh, 0 0.72. So the correct answer here is going to be D. So I'm going to circle my D. Okay, so that takes us to question um, 9, which says the area of a square. Now, you know how your square looks like is the same size. Okay, this is our square. So the area is 2704. What is the length? Now, remember that here is equal to here. And uh, our area is going to be what? Length times width. Okay, so... All we need to do is, uh, if our area is length times width and our area is the same thing, that means our area will be what? L squared. So if our area is 2704 is equal to L squared, therefore L is going to be what? Square root of 2704. Now, men looking at our options here, you can see from here, the one that will give you the area is actually what? 52 cm. Because when you multiply 52 times 52, you're going to get what? 2704. So our correct answer here is going to be what? A. Question 10 says, what is the next number in the following pattern? Now notice this number is following a pattern. So we have um, 6. Next one says 9. Notice if you do 6 plus 3, you're going to get what? 9. Now if you do 9 plus 4, you're going to get 13. So if you do 13 plus 5, you're going to get um okay so six plus three is going to give us nine nine plus four is going to so i think nine plus five will give us um 13. now that means it's adding with um two the numbers increment with two so i'm going to be adding seven here to give us what 21 then i'm going to be adding nine to give us uh that's 30 then from 30, I'm going to add 11, and that will give us 41. So here, I'm going to add, what, 13, and that's going to give me, um, that's 54. So from here, my correct answer is going to be, what, A. So I'll circle my A. So the next question is going to take us um, to question 11. Now... Question 11 says, a football match starts at 2.45 p.m. After 45 minutes, there was a 15 minutes break. The match then took 15 minutes to end at to end. At what time in 24 hours did the match end? Now, all you need to do here, it's uh, the match started at um, 2.45 p.m. Now, they played for what? 45 minutes. Now, when you sum this up, this will give you 3.30 p.m. Now, they took a 15 minutes break. So, with that break, it's going to give us what? 3.45 p.m. Okay? Now, they now played for another 50 minutes. So, okay. 
So we're going to add 50 minutes to date. Now, when you add 50 minutes to 345, you're going to get four. This will be um 4:35 p.m. Now, how do we convert this to a 24-hour clock system? Note that your four is your 16. 00 hour. So this is going to be 16.35 hours. So the correct answer here, it's going to be A, and I'm going to circle my A. So the next question, it's going to be um, that 12. Now question 12 says, Maria bought one system mangoes at 10 shillings each. She paid 200 naira shillings for transport to the market. She sold the mangoes and made a 60% profit. What was the selling price? Now, she bought the mangoes. That's 160 times 10 is going to give us um, 1,600 shillings. Now, she took transport of uh, 200. So that would be 200 plus um one six that's going to give us what one thousand eight hundred shillings now that means her cost price is going to be what one thousand eight hundred shillings now her profit is equal to what profit it's um sixty percent okay and you know that the formula is profit is equal to what selling price minus cost price over cost price times 100 over 1. That's a profit in percentage. So this is going to give us, uh, this will be 60% is equal to our selling price is what we don't know. So we'll call it X minus our cost price was 1,800 all over 1, 8 times 100 over 1. So from here, what I'm going to do 60 over 100 is equal to x minus 1 8 all over 1 8. So this is going to give us 0 0.6 is equal to x minus 1 8 all over 1800. So from here, we're going to cross multiply, which would be 0 0.6 times 1 8 is equal to x minus one eight. So when you multiply um, zero point six by one eight, it's going to give you one zero eight zero is equal to x minus one eight. So from here we're going to cross multiply um collect like terms. Therefore x is going to be one eight plus one zero eight zero, which is going to give us zero eight eight and two shillings. Now. For you to know um, the profit she made on the 160 mangoes, we're going to do 2,800 divided by 160. And that's going to give us um, 18 shillings. So it's going to give us uh, 18 shillings. So from here, you can determine that each mango made a profit of what 18 shillings so if this is your first time of coming to our channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell so that you can get more videos from us